Two, one. I was only, I was only looking. That's what they all say. I just literally, there's, there's, no, there's no crazy science in it. I just literally, I might just find a sample first and work the beat around it. Or sometimes I might just make a beat and then literally go through samples. I just keep pulling up a sample. I might chop that for a while. No, I don't like that. Take that out, put another one in. And then I'll save them as I go. So often I'll just have, I've probably got about 50 of the same beat yeah. with all the samples I've tried on. I've currently probably got a folder of about 500 of them beats. I don't ever have finished beats in there. Like you've, you've, you've used a lot of purple in jazz this scene, yeah. in jazz this scene. So, um, and, and some of those are very simple. You've used it in actually her blue scene, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so how would you feel about that being purple again for her? From for an aesthetic her? standpoint and yeah. from a technical standpoint, because mm -hmm. obviously you're the one who's going to make the change. <laughs> If there's if there's a change to be made. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 to be honest with you, a lot of the time it's just I'll sit there for probably about five hours just doing that, mm. and it's almost the same with writing. If I could put it, I write little bits and pieces. So I write paragraphs here and there. I might start a song, don't quite finish it, and there'd be bits and bits and bits and bits and bits. Same with the beats. I can't really, you know, sometimes a producer will be able to send people beats. They got, they finish every one they do. I'll just have, mine's a mess. There's just, it's just a great big landscape of ideas, really. But when I decide I'm going to do a project, like for instance, make the album, then that's the fun part is just literally piecing them all. So then going through them little bits and pieces and saying, right, I like that beat. So then you pull that one, put that one together properly go through all the paragraphs you got. Yeah, that's kind of in tune with that one. Then once that's together, go through it, taking out the bits you don't want and then constructing. Yeah, and then yeah. like about four million paragraphs you had there, just make one song, you're like, great. Working on an EP at the moment. But like everything, it's, uh, it's drawn out. It's drawn yeah, out. Yeah. Let the best bins up. Yeah. Sometimes, so, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes, yeah. but sometimes it can, it can drag you down creatively as well. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you feel like it's never ending. Mm. And you do want an end, you do want to, see it through um but that ep yeah it's, it's still in the making at the moment what's it called <laughs> it hasn't got a title okay yeah well, uh, there's Bally there's six tracks yeah. what makes me me so i don't know really i don't see myself as i just i'm very easy going yeah you know definitely and in terms of music i think what makes me me is i literally and i don't lie when i say i do it for the love Literally, there's no, there's never, otherwise, I think, you know, I might have tried to make more of a go of it. It's never been about sort of the money side of it or becoming famous mm -hmm. or none of that. It really doesn't interest me. So when I make music, it, it's more, I feel more happy to see a producer that I look up to tell me that they're feeling my music than somebody offering me a, I don't know, four million pound record deal. And that's genuine. Because it doesn't interest me Is at that all. Always been the way? That's always been the way, yeah. I don't, it doesn't bother me about that. It's nice for people to recognise what you're doing, but I'd rather, you know, stand in a room with a crowd of people that generally, you know, say two, three hundred people that all feel your music, you know, rather than just a whole stadium full of people who half them probably couldn't really care. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I just, I'm not, I'm not bothered about that side of it. So we'll change it from purple back to what another different colour. a different colour. Mm. Uh, well, the the whole idea was, was you know the Spotify you got to, well, not Spotify the, mm. uh, the filter you get on Instagram where you get the purple and blue uh, um, shades that sort of the effect was going to go for trust it's all going for trust for that 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 effect for um, for ja uh, jazz's, for jazz's uh, scene. character scene why yeah. don't you then if you're going because you mentioned the logo you wanted the green because it's in the Digi Hero logo there are other colours in there aren't there mm. what yeah are all the colours. Yeah, yellow. Bring up. So you know like if light was to shine through a crystal or hit oil or something, mm -hmm. you've got that kind of like rainbow hue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have something like that? A mixture of all like colours. A mixture, like just like a not have you got like a, a it's interesting. going on in That's you interesting. Know, like, light was to, yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's not like Yeah, yeah, gold, it's kind of turquoise, you're right. Yeah. So what you've got to change from green to like kind of multicoloured. 
But not so, like multicolored, like a rainbow. You know, like if light hits through something. It's iridescent. That's, I, think, I yeah. don't know what it is. but That's, that's what happens with oil. When yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you're thinking that's of. Like, yeah. Like that kind of... Oh, that's, 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 if you're going by your rainbow, like. that is. I think, I think that's... I don't know if that's possible, Ben. I don't... You know, people will say you all the time. I hear people, they'll say, why bother putting a project out like that and making a big deal about it? You must want something out of it because it's, it's not. Mm. I did it in my spare time. The album took two years, but it's not two years because. Tell us about that project. Well, that but well, my album in general was just I wasn't going to do it, and I've mm. I've gone through. I'm always giving up. Mm. That's my main thing. I'm always that's the last. This is the last. Yeah, yeah, it's always the last one. It's yeah, always yeah. the last one. But as I've got older now, I've started. To, I've got to a point place now where it's like I'm never going to give it up. Mm. But I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to make the album. I'm going to take my time with it. I'm going to make sure that every single track I want on there, you know, I'm not going to go away with anything half assed and I'm going to say what I'm going to say if it's something I don't like on it. And that took that long to get to it in the end. You know, and it was literally, you know, through working, obviously kids, mortgages, you know how it works. <clears throat> I was getting two hours a week maybe sometimes to go in the studio with him, lay some stuff down. So that's why it took so much time. It's just from constantly relying on other producers and other people in the studios to constantly make beats for you or go and make beats with people. And I just found it frustrating to sit with an engineer and try to get across because when you're trying to do stuff that's a bit unconventional, mm. you know, I don't always want to work to the way that engineers do it, you know, the way you'd learn at college. I want, mm. I want stuff to sound sort of crap if it makes sense. You know, I want a dirty sound and sometimes you find an engineer would do it for you while you're there. But then when you get your mix back, you're like, you've cleaned it up. We <laughs> yeah, cleaned yeah, it up yeah, for... Yeah. And it's just little things like that, really. And it's hard to always... Sometimes... It's you DIY thing, isn't it? You've got to just yeah, and you kind of you annoy people at times and you feel like you don't let the, the project get to where it really was because mm. you didn't want to keep pushing. So I just yeah. feel like at the end of the day, you've got your own stuff there. <laughs> Hopefully people will notice every cut pretty much is to a beat. So every time you sort of cut to another shot or cut to a thing, it's going to be on a snare, it's going to be on a kick. Um, obviously there's going to be effects that affect the production as well. And the first one you did, we ended up putting in Trust. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Alpha Beat. Yeah, was that, that was a sample of Bedford Falls, wasn't it? Yeah, so obviously I did stick to the brief in that respect. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, oh, what you tell me about that beat? From what I can remember of it, because uh, when it comes to creation, like I don't, I don't, uh, like Darren said, mm. like you just start something, and if it's not flowing, you move on to the next thing, because you know you can always come back to it. Mm. You're never going to destroy it, are you? Um, I don't know. Some people do. Some people do destroy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I destroy a lot of things, mm. but you still that's that initial idea is always there, isn't it? It's always going to be in your head. But I mean, I I just basically went with the brief. I went back to Bedford Falls. There was always that element of, uh, of just cutting up and, and trying to sample. I'd never done it before. Mm. I wanted to try it. Mm. Um, I'd always been a big fan of, uh, of like the way Block Party always used to like give their work to other people or, or their, their friends of an associated artists always like chopped up their own work. Um, and I just went with that really, picked a, picked a bit of the song that I liked you know, and tried to build up around that cut. Uh, the bridge. Yeah. 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 Um, it just went from there, really. 